Do you have a Ford truck with an aluminum roof? Don't be that guy. Here's how you fix this issue. This is your solution right here. This is the big heavy third tail light bracket steel plater 2000 and, and five. No, I really don't know what the hell it's called. Oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Link in the description below. All right, so what this guy does is it goes between your third brake light and your cab. Uh, and it's a drill free application. It's got these uh, bolts that slide through a couple of anchors in the back and then you're able to put your third brake light back here. Um, I did buy this from a buddy because it did not work with his truck. I'm not sure why. It might have been the aftermarket third tail light that he was using, but uh, I don't know. Either way. So, in order for me to put the caution light on this truck, I need to have some kind of steel or suction cup application or drill into this or uh, this. I, I knew we had this, so I figured I'd go this route. So let's uh, let's dive into this. And uh, this is for a 15 F-150. If you're extremely familiar with these Ford truck models, uh, this is a 17 F-250. It's the same cab. These are all universal cabs. Uh, 15 to, I don't know, I know 20 F-150s, they're all the same cab. Uh, just different crap inside and out. Now the uh, Super Duties, 17 on up, I don't know to what year, they're the same cab. So stuff, if stuff is not available for this and it goes in the cab, I buy F-150, works every time. Um, just do your research. That's all you gotta do, it's not that hard. All right, so let's get this third brake light off of here. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Ah, it was meeny. No, it was mo, no miny. Yep, this is boring. All right, so when you get to this stage and you're gonna put a light up here, uh, it'd be a good time to figure out getting it in the cab. Uh, so I guess that's what I'm gonna do because, I mean, literally, your inside of the cab is right here. This is your top of your headliner right here. I'm not gonna go into that detail. This is just for the plate, okay? You guys figure that out on your own or message me and I can help you out. All right, so included in the kit in this specific one is you've got a couple of anchors, bolts, and washers. Uh, and, oh yeah, and then instructions. Who needs those? Oh, uh, okay, all right. <laughs> Next step. Uh, some trucks, full disclosure here, some trucks I've worked on, you can actually get to the plug back here. Um, this one I can't. It's got to be done inside the cab. So to make it easier, I'm just going to rotate the bulbs out, unclip the wires out of the third brake light. There. Now, the plate. Take the bulbs, slide them through the plate. There. Now, this hole and this hole, this is where the toggle bolts are going to go through, okay? The uh, other holes line up perfectly with your third brake light. Just like that, yo. I think that's going to work pretty good. I have to figure out my wiring a second though for my uh, for my strobe light. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down and then go through the bottom of the seal. Obviously you don't wanna go on the top and create a leak that can get inside your cab. Uh, so I'm gonna do it down below and we should be golden. So let me uh, fish that through. All right, here we go. 
Uh, got the wire coming through the bottom here. So when I put this bad boy on here, it should uh, somewhat seal up at the bottom. It's got a pretty good gasket on this uh, versus the stock third brake light, not very good gasket. Uh, so I'm gonna find it better going under the plate. All right, let's uh, try and work some magic here. We'll line it up, read the instructions I threw away. Okay, washer and bolt. And then you want this guy in like this. So these guys are gonna go together just like that. And then this is gonna be on the inside of the cab. So you'll fish the bolt through. Oh, there we go. All right, and then in the instructions, it shows you exactly how to have it. So I'll show you. So there's a the bolt, here's the anchor. You can see how it's grabbing a piece of the cab down here and up here and so I'll hold it there while I tighten this and then I'll do the same thing on the other side have it going across diagonal like that all right so one very important thing that you're going to want to remember as you're tightening these up you want to make sure your holes stay aligned or else you'll never get your third brake light in looking pretty good it's a good big gasket nice and sealed now time to uh, put the third brake light back in and hopefully everything works because this is the problem I had on my, my buddy's truck. So, But when we were doing it on his truck, he had an Anzo third brake light. So it might have been just a, just a smidge different than stock, just enough to make this not work. Put your wires back in the little holders there. This is going to work just fine. not quite sealed here in the middle oh yeah I just didn't I didn't have it in far enough <laughs> oh she's good yep perfect guys all right I'll show you this focus focus Alright, there's the information again if you guys want it, but she looks like a good fit. Everything's sealed. Everything's sealed here, and then for my light, I've got it coming down and going through the bottom there. Just in case. Oh, look at that. I tightened it on the wire. Goodness. There we go, guys. She is golden, golden, right. Well, there you go, guys. Thanks for stopping by and checking out another how-to video on my channel. Uh, I got lots of Ford truck stuff and BMW stuff here on the channel, a little bit of mix for everybody, but um, there you go. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and uh, until we meet again, later. Let's get a shot of this on, huh? There we go, that might make for a pretty good outro.